In this session, let's understand the concept of rest parameters. This is a very interesting concept. You know, in one of the previous sessions, we already saw the concept of arguments object. You know, in JavaScript, we can have a function and we can declare that function with absolutely no arguments. But at the time of calling the function, we can provide as many arguments as we want. Right. In this case, I'm providing six arguments when I'm calling the function, but the function is accepting no arguments. That is fine. And then in the body of the function, we can use arguments object and tackle these arguments or parameters, whatever you want to call them. Now, this concept of rest parameters is again very similar. What we can do is in arguments object, we don't have to provide anything over here. But for rest parameters, what we can do is we can just say three dots and provide any name. So I'll say all. So what JavaScript will do is it will assume all the parameters as part of an array named as all, whatever name we provide. It doesn't have to be all. I'll change it to something like numbers. You know, this is a custom variable. So whatever variable name we provide over here, JavaScript will create an array and assign all the values that user is passing to that array. So let's say over here, I want to show all the values into log, then I can apply a for loop over here. Uh, we'll see more about arrays in upcoming sessions. But this is a quick example how we can show values of an array in log. So we'll say let num of numbers console.block and number. So this will iterate over array and each number will be displayed in the console. So let's go ahead and run this program. And we can see all the numbers that user is passing is getting displayed in the console. So the thing is, this rest parameter is nothing but getting all the arguments in an array. This is a little bit different from arguments object and the difference is argument object is an array like object. But this particular thing, rest parameter is actually an array. So all the methods that we can generally do on array can be done over here also. Now, can we combine this arguments object with the regular arguments? Yes, we can do. Uh, let's say I have a argument A comma argument B and then rest of the arguments, you know, hence the name rest parameter. We can have our normal arguments first and then rest. So over here, what will happen is say we have A I'm using here and B I'm using over here. So what will happen is first two parameters that user is passing will be taken as A and B and rest and rest of the parameters will be taken into an array. So that is the reason it's called as rest parameter. So we can have normal parameters in the beginning of the function. This is very important. We cannot have rest in the beginning and then normal parameters at the end. No, that will not work. It will begin with normal parameters and at the end, whatever parameters user will pass, all those rest of the parameters will be taken into this array. So when we rerun this program, basically we are getting the same output, but let me comment this part and just do console.log numbers. And when we rerun this one, you would basically see 10 and 20 are normal parameters and numbers is actually an array. Okay, so this is very interesting. It's a little different from arguments object where arguments object is an array like object, but rest parameters is actually an array. If you have any questions, let me know.